himself, the scientific demon from Ireland that is Dara the Menace Ennis. Hello, Len. You look like quite well forward. You really do. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. He's very well dressed. Now, Len, I'm very disappointed you didn't score one more, because then I'd be able to say, well done on getting seven! Yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, I know. How many people have said that to you in your lifetime? About 28,000. <laughs> Drives you mad, doesn't it? Every cabbie. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not larking about with you or anyone. Six thousand pounds. Six thousand pounds, and he's not larking about with anyone. No, nope, not laughing about it at all. I think the value offer there actually was the 3,000 because it was a very good low offer. I'll change my mind. Off. Three that Too late. <laughs> Too late. That's gone now. Uh, well, we'll see if you regret it. OK, here we go. Len Goodman for six grand. The chase is off. Good luck. Here comes your first question. Uh-oh. An actress with which of these surnames famously played Catwoman on television? A, Kit. B, Mog. C, Puss. You've put... Kit. i put Kit. Any actresses you know with a surname called Kit? No, no Mog, no Puss. It was a guess. OK, the correct answer is... Kit. Oh! Oh! Chase is put. Yeah, it goes Kit, you see, because... Eartha Kit, no? Oh, of course, Eartha Kit. It was Eartha Kit. <laughs> she had that deep voice. Sexy. Know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> right, come on, focus. Here's your question. Come on, come on, focus. Especially when prepared and cooked, what is langoust? A, lamb, B, lobster, C, liver. I've gone for that. I don't know. It's another guess. You've put... Lobster. Like a langoustine. Well, you'd imagine, wouldn't you? Well, that's, that was my thought process I... that went through. Uh, yeah, I can tell, yeah. yeah. Langoustine. Yeah, correct answer is... Come on, lobster. It is lobster, well played. Oh! Let's go close to home, well done. Chaser's put... Yeah. That was also lobster. Here's the next question. Which of these was a long-running radio show that started as a morale booster for Britain during the Second World War? A, Forces Playtime. B, Children's Playtime. C, Workers' Playtime. I'm you've, all over this. You've put Workers' Playtime. Yeah, that's right. If it's not right, I'm going to pick on me walnuts. <laughs> Correct answer is... Come on, Workers' Playtime, please. Please! Step closer. Ah, ah, well come on. Come to Daddy. Chase his foot. He won't know this. He won't know. He goes, ah. children's playtime. Oh! Oh! Well, so young. Yeah. How would you know that? Yeah. Oh, you know. No I'll idea. Tell you what, if I had your hair, I'd be clubbing it still. <laughs> You'd probably be the king of England, Len. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> we are now four ahead, two from home. Oh. Here's your question. Hello. What London landmark is home to birds including Jubilee, Harris, Grip, Rocky, Erin and Poppy? A. London Zoo. B. St Paul's Cathedral. C. Tower of London. You've put... It's got to be. London Zoo. Tower of London, it's ravens. St Paul's Cathedral... What, I... is, what is a raven? A big black bird. And, it, and when... What when... London landmark is home to birds, including Jubilee... Oh, it's the names. <laughs> what a conker this... Oh, no. <laughs> Scrub it out and let's do it... <laughs> let's go to sea. Correct answer is... Of course. Oh, no. Tower of London, yeah. stand where you are. Chase has put... <laughs> goes Tower of London. Moves to within three of us, we're two from home. Here's the next question. Which of these is the title of a 50s film western? A, Johnny Guitar. That is a film. B, Johnny Banjo. No. C, Johnny Ukulele. I think it's Johnny Ukulele. <laughs> oh, I only said that so you'd press it. <laughs> <laughs> when I... I pressed another name. I said Johnny Ukulele so he might think old Goodman knows his onions and I press C. I know, but first of all, I said Johnny Guitar, you went, that's a film. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I got it. I 
listen, you don't understand. I'm like a cold sponge here, and I'm excited. <laughs> You've put... Yeah. Johnny Guitar. That's a film. That is a film. That's a film. <laughs> Correct answer is... Yeah. I know it. Barbara Stanwyck. Johnny Barbara Stanwyck, yeah. <laughs> Set prize, home well done. Chase has put... One more, Lynn. Come on. Come on, Banjo. Go, Johnny oh. Guitar. Here's the next question. In his dictionary, who does Samuel Johnson describe as a man of artifice, one of deep contrivance? A, a trickster. B, a painter. C, a politician. A man of artifice. One of... Get ready. Press your button. Len, Len, Len. Press your button now! I missed it. Len. I went to press it and my finger... I don't even understand the question. That's <laughs> not worth pressing anyway. It's probably not a painter. What would you have put? put? I'd have you... put a politician. OK. The correct answer is... You'd have been... If this is right, you'd have been through now. Oh, oh no! Lynn. Oh, no, Staying look. Staying where you are. Creepy. Chase has put... Chase, it goes politician, moves him into... He's two from us, but one from us. Come on. You've got two chances of getting through now, Len. Yeah. And here's a question. Which of these, Len, yeah. is not... Not. It's not. ..a traditional character in the pantomime Cinderella? A, the cruel stepmother. B, fairy godmother. Yeah. Or C, the eaten grandmother. Straight away, I've gone for that, and I've pressed it with lacrity <laughs> and my index finger. You've put... <laughs> ..eaten grandmother. Got be. Cruel stepmother, she's horrible. Then the fairy, you will go to the bowl. That's the end of it all. To go through with six, six grand, the correct answer is. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> well, despite everything, you held on and played well. You, you did play well, and it was one of the most entertaining times I've had in a long time. But the Eaton Grandmother is obviously from Little Red Riding Hood, not from Cinderella. £6,000, first up, first through. He's in the final. Len Goodman, oh! everyone. <laughs> Len, 